The content of this video is not medical advice or a substitute for physical therapy. Please consult your physician or physical therapist before starting any exercise program. Did you know that it's your buttocks muscles, not your abdominals or your lower back muscles, that were meant to support the weight of your trunk? In fact, if you've ever had a tired or sore lower back after a long walk, it's probably because, like many of us, your buttocks are not working as well as they should. So today's tip, I'm gonna give you two hip exercises to help you improve the contribution of your glutes to support your back. Now to get started, you're gonna need a nice firm surface to lie on and a yoga block, or if you don't have one of these, then a roll of toilet paper works nicely. And you're just gonna lie on your back with your knees bent and you're gonna place that block or TP roll between your knees so that your feet, your knees, and your pelvis are aligned. Now that just helps ensure that we are truly targeting glute max, which is your primary buttocks muscle here. Now, if you've ever done a pelvic lift or bridge exercise before, then you will know that there are many variations out there. In today's tip, I want to focus on hip extension, truly buttocks work. So we're not going to add any spinal motion. In fact, we want to keep the spine as neutral as possible because what we're trying to do is work the buttocks the way that they're going to be working in walking, stair climbing, all the things that they do to carry around the weight of the trunk during the day. So you're going to place your fingertips on your pelvic bones and your thumbs on your lower ribs just to kind of measure the distance between your ribs and your pelvis. And that's going to help you ensure that you keep your back out of this motion. So let's take a breath in and then exhale and compress the abdominals to stabilize the back while you press down with your heels to raise your pelvis just off the surface. Now, notice I'm not going to a straight hip. That is totally not necessary. We just want to get the hips up high enough so that you can feel those buttocks engage. Then you're going to pause and take a little breath and exhale to return to the surface. So let's do a couple more together. Take a breath in, exhale, compress those abdominals to stabilize your back and then press with your heels to lift your hips. Pause, take a little breath and then exhale to return to the mat. We'll do one more together. Take a breath in, exhale, compress your abdominals, press down with your heels to raise your pelvis, take a small breath, and then exhale and return to the surface. Now, if you start to feel like you're activating in your lower back too much, or you're feeling your hamstrings activate, then just don't raise your hips quite as high. Remember, we wanna focus on the abdominals and the buttocks in this exercise. When you practice this, you can practice up to two rounds of five repetitions a piece. Now, before I go to my second exercise, I just want to remind you that if you like this content, if you find it helpful, please click like, click subscribe, and do share it with your friends and family. And oh, if you haven't done it yet, take a peek at the description below and see that we've got a lower back masterclass that has many more of these types of exercises available to you as well. Now, for my second exercise, I'm going to need a step. And you can either use a step in your home or you can use a thick book or a yoga block, whatever you have handy. It really doesn't matter because what we're going to focus on is that action of straightening the hip. Now you may be thinking, I take a thousand stairs a day. Why do I need to do a stepping exercise? Well, my question to you would be when you're taking your thousand stairs a day, are you focusing on your glutes? That's what I thought. All right. So you're going to place one foot on your step and the other foot, of course, remains on the floor. And we're gonna use both feet. Now, what often happens when you're using stepping as an exercise is you're told to put your whole foot on the step and drive through your heel because that really focuses you on the glute. But you and I both know that on a regular step, sometimes your heel has to hang off. So let's do this. Let's make sure the toes are firmly on the step. And if your heel has to hang off a little bit, especially for you guys who have longer feet, it's totally fine. You're gonna push through your whole foot but you're gonna help with the foot that's on the floor so that as you step up, your path of motion is actually more vertical. So hopefully you can see I'm assisting with my foot on the floor and that's giving me more of an upward motion instead of the forward motion that many of us kind of default to when we're not paying attention. Now, here's the other piece. I want you to really focus on straightening this hip 
of the leg that's on the step. So let's do a few of these together. You're gonna be pushing with your foot that's on the step. You're also assisting with your foot on the floor. And we're going upward, thinking about straightening this hip. And it's not gonna be an extremely difficult exercise. I want it to be a focused exercise. So you start to use that glute to support the weight of your trunk. All right, I hope this was helpful to you. That's all I've got for you this week. Until next time, keep moving and be well.